Hey, very good evening to traders. This is Mark. Welcome to your daily trading video. US dollar JPY is motoring along. We are up at highs and we have pushed a long way today. It's having a meeting with a trader and a coffee today, which was just one thing we were talking about quite a lot. Um, look at the state of this support level and resistance. It is a big level and we have come a long way up to it from the Trump low all the way up with no pullback pretty much. Two red days I've got on here and that is a big, big, big move. Um, we're coming out to here now. What happens? Now, the first thing is you've got to respect the trend. The trend is very, very strong. However, trends do not move in a straight line forever. And if you look at history and you look at some of these big moves, you know, sometimes these are precursors for some sort of pullback. So what are the scenarios we've got here? Now, we could just rip through and do a big day that just screws everyone over, gets everyone well and truly out if they're short, sucks in the last of the longs and then reverses. And on the time frame, that's going to be sort of a middle of the day type of thing. And that may give us a good scalping opportunity. The second thing we could get is we could just start to stall here and roll over. But what I want to see more interestingly on that is if we look to a 15 minute, is it coming back under this key level? I'm not really interested in shorting it until I see it perhaps coming back under here. Now that we're above here, before it might have been a little bit interesting. We're looking at it earlier and it was down here. And the kind of thought was, well, if it sort of pushes up and fails and comes back and retakes this low, maybe we're game on. But the fact that it's pushed right back up, I'd, I'd like to see it come back under at least this level, if not the 111 level, and start to consolidate down here. Because then it can quantify the risk, right or wrong on the trade. It means that it's very, very specific risk quantification. And maybe we can look for a pull back to the 110 level over the next day. And it wouldn't even damage the trend much. You know, if we pull back 150 pips from the high, that would be nothing. And the 110 is an obvious support level for us to test at some point if we don't do another 200 to the upside. So that's perhaps what I'm looking for. I know it's against the trend and I know that is very, very, um, you know, you've got to respect it and it's unlikely. But that's why I put these these levels in and say, well, I have to see a failure. I have to see the fact that no more buyers are encouraged up here and it's rejected and sellers are pressing on it. If we don't get that and we just march on higher, then fine. There's going to be another setup somewhere along the line. And that may well be that case of we have a really monster day that reverses and comes back lower, you know, and then trading, you know, intraday from that. So those are the opportunities there. Whatever, um, I think it's too late to be buying it. Personally, someone may think differently, but personally, it's too late to be buying it. So it's either going to be looking for some sort of short opportunity for an unwind or staying clear, letting it run and letting it set up another day. Uh, so that's the end. Dow has been very, very quiet today. We haven't even done a 100 point range. I've stayed completely clear of it. A 100 point range in a 24 hour session, less than that. And uh, what are we talking here? Oh, absolutely nothing range on the uh, on the regular trading hour session. Uh, and one thing to note is it's Thanksgiving week this week. Uh, the Americans are on holiday on Thursday. We've got Fed minutes on Wednesday. The old adage of never short a quiet market couldn't be truer. It's very quiet out there. The volume is low. The range is low. It's a holiday week. A lot of traders and fund managers, institutions are all going to be off on holiday today, or or they're going to be going away from their desks early or whatever, or making plans for their with their family. So. That's got to be respected. For me, any shorts have got to be scalps in and out, gone, not not looking for home runs at all on the short side. In fact, you know, being very, very, very picky if I do take any short trades, which I haven't done yet. DAX is a little bit different. Um, although, saying that, it is a little bit different, but we are still stuck in this range. Uh, Let's get that back on. We're still stuck in this range. And so it's still a smash and grab type situation. Get what you can, move out the market, and be prepared for it to be probing levels. Look how many times it, it it's tagging through prior highs or prior lows and reversing. You know, we are not getting continuation yet. And for me, I want to see it outside of this range before I start looking to trail that last portion of the trade for a longer run. Uh, for that trend day because at the moment we haven't had a trend day um, are we due one maybe we are maybe we are due one soon but we haven't had it yet we've got a lot of congestion a lot of consolidation a lot of acceptance of price maybe the holiday week and maybe the sort of chug uh, along Thanksgiving uh, without a catalyst or a very good news is going to cause us to, to carry on pushing up to the upside. Uh, but again, I'm not predicting. I'm just trading what I see on the day and this is what I see at the moment. So uh, worth keeping an eye on US dollar JPY, worth keeping an eye on all the other bits. And the key level, just as a summary, 
is this for intraday for me is this and this 111 i want to see how price behaves here does it close here how does it open here tomorrow does it dip back under you know what does it do uh, and then just maybe framing a trade from around that all right guys hope it a great trading day today guys take care and i shall be back with another video tomorrow goodbye